God bless. Every morning, you wake up with questions. Did anything happen? Oh, that's her. She was in that. She was wearing that. Oh, look! The stunning cost of COVID for one global survivor. <laughs> Ready to help pull out the booster shot. One Valley woman signed up for the crucial third shot trial. The latest on how well Pfizer says it works. And search for answers. Henderson police asking for your help to identify this woman. My name is Melissa Beach of the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. We would love to pay for your groceries. <laughs> the Fox 5 Surprise Squad giving a boost to local shoppers and has a special gift for families at the checkout. We are local Las Vegas. Fox 5 News starts now. Yeah, this one actually catch up with you. The vaccine is free, but the cost of COVID-19 can hit your pocketbook. Millions of Americans and thousands across the valley are expected to face medical debt. That's right, and Fox 5's Kim Passoff is live at UNLV's mass testing and vaccination site. And Kim, you spoke with a COVID survivor who is now battling the long-term effects physically as well as financially. Yeah, that's right, Joe. He says that the vaccine was not available when he got sick. Tonight at this mass vaccination and testing site, the vaccines are being given out for free. And he says he would have gladly got the vaccine if it would have prevented his mountain of medical bills. Oh, man. Oh, man. The medical bills continue to come in. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, uh, they send me a bill, like, every week. And you're looking at like from twenty-five dollars to eighty to a thousand to few thousand to and then the biggest bill that I got was seventy-seven thousand. Seventy-seven thousand is just one bill for part of Kenneth Fuchigami's hospital stay. He got sick back in December after his wife had a mild case of COVID. I told her that I was gonna give her a kiss goodbye. And she's like, You shouldn't because you're gonna get it and I didn't believe in it. So I gave her a kiss anyway. Within a week, the amateur bodybuilder could not breathe. I felt like I was breathing through a straw. And uh, she took me to the emergency room and I barely made it through the doors. He was in the ICU for nearly a month. And I feel, kind of felt hopeless because nobody would give me any updates on anything. COVID damaged his lungs. Seven months later, he still needs supplemental oxygen 24-7. The former Margaritaville security guard, someone who prided themselves on their strength, now is in the worst shape of his life. I can't walk normally anymore. Like just a normal walk, I, I feel like my lungs are gonna explode. He is trying to hold on to hope, but that's hard most days. It's like nothing's getting better. I just feel like I'm permanently this way. He can't work because of his health. His unemployment has just run out. He can barely pay his rent and bill collectors keep calling. They would ask if I could pay, and I'd be like, what's the lowest amount can I, that I can pay for my bills? And they're like, oh, well, being that you're close to 100000 about 7000 a month. And I started laughing because, like, I don't even have a job, and unemployment doesn't even help me anymore. It, it hurt us in so many different ways. Denise Fernandez's husband, 49-year-old Eric Sodatani, who worked at a hotel on the Strip, died alone after 13 days in the hospital on what would have been their 23rd wedding anniversary. His hospital bill, $309,000. With $289,000 covered by insurance, the family still owes $20,000. Kenneth says it is humbling. The true cost of COVID, financially, physically, and emotionally, is more than he could have ever imagined. Uh, I just did hoping that God like helps me get better so I can just go back to work and not have to ask anybody for anything. So Kenneth does have a GoFundMe account hoping to raise some money from friends, family, and strangers. You can find a link on our website that is fox5vegas.com. And coming up at 1030, we will tell you more about this mass testing and vaccination site now in its second night. For now, reporting live at UNLV, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.
Bueno, I don't 